Hello, I'm coming to you from underneath my, I'm coming to you, oh that's scary. Ooh. Hello, I'm coming to you oh, that's scary. from underneath my BMW E60. Well this is an E61, but it'll be E60, E61, 5 Series. And what I'm going to be doing today, showing you how to do, and learning myself how to do, is a major transmission service. I'm going to, going to change the solenoids and change the valve body seals, and hopefully that fixes, it kind of shifts rough, and I have the 2-3 the clunk. So when the transmission gets really hot, it goes kunk when it shifts from third to second. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So step one in doing this repair is uh, we have to remove the big plastic cover that is, uh, the, that is covering everything. And that is very simple. It is just some eight millimeter bolts and a whole bunch of them all the way around. So I'm going to do that. And uh, maybe I'll speed up the video here. And here we go. That's a lot of eight millimeter uh, bolts. But there it is, that's a huge cover. You know, aerodynamics is important. Once the cover's removed, we've got to uh, now get at, uh, this is the transmission here. And uh, this here is the transfer case. And this is the drive shaft. And the drive shaft is blocking the fill hole that we uh, that we're gonna need, and the first thing we obviously want to do is crack the fill hole to make sure that we can crack the fill hole uh, before we drain the transmission, lest for some reason we can't open the fill hole, and then uh, we're gonna be in a world of trouble. So uh, we got to remove this. Now this uh, removing the drive shaft or lowering the drive shaft issue only applies if you have an X drive car with the drive shaft going to the front wheels. Uh, this being a wagon in North America, they're all X-Drive, I believe. Now, the problem is, once I start trying to remove that drive shaft, um, it's just going to spin. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is, you can get a friend, if you had a, a friend, I don't, um, to press on the brake pedal. If you're like me, and you're a sad, lonely loser, what you do is, you take a stick, and then you move the seat forward. There we go, come on, seat. You move the seat forward, and the seat presses on the brake pedal. <laughs> See? Who needs friends, right? Okay, and now you can, oops. Just undo all these. Oh, this one is so. So, I'm on the last one. This is probably gonna be the hardest one. Oh, yeah. I can feel the drive shaft moving. Hopefully, it doesn't drop and hit me in the face. It's kind of, it's kind of the thing that would happen. So part of fun of DIY is you get hit in the face with stuff. There we go. Okay. And and down it goes. And it's kind of out of the way. And now I can see the fill plug. I can see it's kind of marred up. So the transmission fluid was changed at some point. Well, that's good. I also notice a lot of spray paint all over here. A little overspray on the drive shaft and all these bolts are spray painted. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe this is a rebuilt transmission that was installed. Hmm. Hmm. If you're wondering where I'm putting all the bolts, 
I'm putting them into an egg carton. That way they all go into their own little individual compartment. Okay. Now we're going to try to crack this guy. Okay, I'm going to need some help. And I have some help. Okay, so what I've got is this is from my, my jack, my scissor jack. It's just the top. The top bit. And I'm going to stick this in. And it should give me way better leverage. Okay. Okay, what was that? Yes! Yes! Okay. Well, here I thought that I was doomed, but there you go. It broke it. Uh, that was way over tight. Get the green. Green pan, and I've got this. Okay, here we go. This is plastic, it should be a lot easier to open. Here we go. Hey, okay. and here we go. Transmission fluid coming out. Okay, so it's mostly drained from there. And now I'm just gonna put that back on. Okay. Not too far, not too much. Okay, and then move this thing out of the way. It's full. There was a lot of stuff in there. And now, I've got to get all these T40 out. And uh, what would be, let's leave some of them. So this is gonna take a long time to get them all. Oh. They're not supposed to be tight at all. Okay, so that was pretty tedious. Luckily I have this screwdriver adapter thingy. So all the uh, all these for Torx 40s are removed, and I just have two left. So I, I have this one here. I hope you could see that. You guys can see that. Um, so I have this one here, and it's corresponding buddy on the other side. So I'm gonna undo that guy. I could hear the the fluid sloshing around. I can get it by hand. Holding it, holding it. My arms are already tired from being upside down like this. So <laughs> if I dump this all over myself, you guys are gonna love it, I'm sure, but I'm not. Oh, it is also cold here. I can see the uh I can see the end. Oh, 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 oh. it is full of boo. I'm going too slowly. There it is. Go out, go, go out, go. Oh. <laughs> Don't trip on me. Don't trip on me. Okay. There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Get that old guy out of there. And there it is. Look. So I can see. These are these are green, which means they're the old solenoids. These have never been done because the new ones are blue, blue. So we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, let's just while we have this open here, take a tour of what we got. Okay. Having some camera problems here. So, just a sec, hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is uh, the mechatronic unit. Is that what it's called? Doesn't matter. Um, it's got to come out for this this crazy job. Oh, sorry. 
and it's held in by T40 screws. There are 10 of them. Then there's these T27s that don't hold it in. We're going to be using those later, though. Um, this, these are the solenoid valves. And if your transmission is shifting rough, apparently it's these, these might have gotten lazy. Uh, they just might have gotten worn out and lazy. And so rough shifting or like kind of, the best described as like shifting late. Uh, might be a symptom of these guys wearing out. So I'm going to be changing those. This white thing here. Well, it's not white, beige thing. Uh, we pull that out. There's the plug up there. Now, if, can you see it? See, see down there? I can't, I can't really see you. There we go. That is the plug that plugs into, uh, and that's the big control plug that plugs into here. So we pull out this and that kind of releases the plug. And then I've got to somehow get my massive hand in there and spin that thing, that ring, and that should push out the plug. And then there's a sleeve, and I've got to pull out the sleeve. And then we can start undoing these um, T40s. Now, also, here... Just in our tour, oh, I'm getting dripped on, uh, is this, you see this, this plastic thing, and then there's this kind of, this thing, and then this. This is from above. It's connected to the lever, the transmission lever, and it moves this, and that tells where the, the, the whole, this whole thing, where you are. So when we put this back together, you got to make sure that this is where it's supposed to be. It's not there. It's not there. It's not in some wrong place because then your whole shebang will be all for nothing. And it won't work or you'll break something. Okay, so I'm going to try to wrestle with this. There's no good view that I can show. So you just have to kind of watch me wrestle, I guess. I don't know what you guys can see, but... I'm pulling this white thing, this beige thing, open. Okay, it just easily pulls out. There's a little tab you press. You'll see it. You're not a dumbass. Okay. So that should release that plug that I showed you. And now I have to reach in here and try to do it. I can feel it. I can feel it. And there's kind of a notch, but oh man, that is hard to turn. I wish my children were here. I would force their little hand in there. Oh, man. That's going to be really hard. Okay, let's try. I'm going to use a flat screwdriver and hopefully not break anything. And I'm going to try to push. There's like a thing that turns, right, counterclockwise to release, uh, to release and push out that connector. Can I see it? I can't even see it. Oh my God. So yeah, with the screwdriver, I was able to push. There's a tab. I was able to push it. I wish I could show it to you. Uh, are you gonna come up? Yes. Yeah, so that I can just pry it off. So everything can be done with a big screwdriver. And then... Okay, so I got, yeah, I got the sleeve out. It actually wasn't very hard at all. I'm sorry that I didn't, I just can't get an angle in there. And what I did is I just, I used a flathead screwdriver like this. The sleeve does want to come out. It's not stuck in there or anything like that. So here you can, I don't know if you can see it there. And if you could see, it's got slots. And so you could just kind of put the screwdriver in there and it just, it, it comes out. It's got these O-rings here. Those, I mean, those might get stuck, but they didn't. It has a tab. I don't know if you can see it. There's a tab there. It's probably out of focus for you guys. I'm so sorry. I, I'm going to try to maybe refilm this in a second. Uh, so it can only go in one way. And that'll be real tricky because with an X drive, there's just not a room because of that stupid transfer case. Oh, X drive. Uh, okay, so that's done. Now I can start undoing. Uh, all the T40s that are holding it on. They're all the same size, except for three of them that are back, back here. You guys can see me pointing at the back, I think, unless this thing's in your way. 
Okay, well, I'm sorry, but you guys missed the part where I undid um, where I undid this uh, this thing. There it is. There's the Mechatronic or Servotronic or whatever it's called. I, you know, so everything's a tronic. Uh, because the camera was flipped around, it just filmed the wrong thing. I'm, I'm, but all you all you missed was all you got to undo is ten T40. There are three that are shorter that are here. And what you want to do is you want to save. I saved these last two for the end. So I undid everybody. I loosened these, and then I loosened them even more. And then this one came out, because see, it's kind of got like it's just, then you got to start holding it. Undo this one, and then this one is just holding it. You can get a grip on it and just do it by hand while you're holding the thing. And um, it's awful because, I mean, it, it, it's easy to do, but it's awful because you get goo just leaking there, there you can see uh, I made a horrible mess it looks like a crime scene and it's still dripping I think it's still dripping under there uh, but there we go so the mechatronic is out we've got to take off um, remove this this is like the electronics bit so it's the these these bolts. I mean, we're looking at them on the other side. We're gonna take them off. They're T twenty sevens. So let's just. Hey, Scary. Yeah. Hey, how'd you go? How'd you go, Randy? Yeah, okay. Now, hopefully these are. I wonder if these are all the same length. They're gonna be some kind of some kind of craziness. Ooh. See, they're just they're just hand cut like they're barely cut. So when I put these back, all I need to do is with this. It's just a few meters. It's just tightening up. Although I think there would be a, a list of how to put them on. There isn't even a, you know, one, two, three, four, five, whatever it is. Okay? So these two, and then... Yeah, I'll just loosen these two. And I'm probably, probably doing this wrong. Write in the comments how I'm doing this wrong. I really want to know what you think. Actually, you know what I do, because maybe I'll learn something. tomorrow and put the car back together and make sure that it runs it's gonna be a long night I should have started this well I did start this earlier but it's just it takes a long time okay so that's it that should do it nope okay so now flip it over and we just gently and delicately trying to get to remove this thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's not too hard. Not too hard. Okay. It's all evenly. We don't want to crack anything or break anything. There's like a a pipe here, a little a little tube I, I guess that comes out with it. Can you guys see the tube? Hey, there's, there's more than one of those. Oh, oh, there it is. Nothing cracked. Nothing broke. Okay. So let's just set that aside. And you know what? Uh, I guess, uh, a little bit of brake plane. And now flip it over again. And what we have to do is undo one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This, this is the retaining clip for all of these, these solenoids. <laughs>
it popped out and this one the color appears to be yellow so I go in my little bag my, okay so here we go so let's slice this open get this guy out and fresh new these are from ZF so they're the actual things they got new grommets new stuff in there and I guess you just push it in rotate it in you just push it in there's no there's no orientation it just pushes in okay that's one they don't have a number they don't have anything they just are color coded and you can see the new ones are blue the new ones are blue instead of uh, this green so okay next one you come out okay so that was a green one so we need we need blue right. it'd be funny if they were like actually the the yellow ones are blue, the green ones are now yellow. That'd be something that they would do, but they didn't. And I thank them for it. I did so hard. Okay, next one. Yellow. My hands are covered in goop and it's really funny. I'm just gonna rub a little bit of goop. I probably should be running goop on there, I don't know. And on it goes. Okay. Yeah, these feel really, these feel solid. Okay, so. Now, um, we just put on that retaining plate. Okay. Like that. And there are nine of these. wrench what's that in foot pounds who knows yeah let's see if let's see if this torque wrench even oh yeah there we go it's barely it's like barely on but they, but look it's it's what i would have tightened it more <laughs> click Okay. Now, we gotta put Buddy this thing back on. And just before we do, this is um, electric contact cleaner. And just. Spray some of that on here. Uh, now, we also here have to make sure, see this is that slider selector pin, so we have to make sure that it lines up with with the this slidey thing and then with, with the transmission. So yeah, yeah. Anybody? Uh, this looks like uh, no. Does this go like this? Does anybody remember? Help me. Was it like this? So. Get some light for you. So then, 
yeah, I gotta make sure that this is right, that that pin lines up. And there's these, these metal, metal things. How does this go? Very gently is how it goes. Very gently. There's some like, it's just very carefully. How do these, do these things somehow? Yeah, I would say we do it from this end because all of all these guys have to kind of match up, don't they? Let's just pull, pull back, pull back, just go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this, this thing is not fun. It does not want to come out. It doesn't want to cooperate. Did I put it in the wrong hole? No. No. Okay. Let's see, why is this? Okay. Like, what does this even do? Okay, let's wipe it down. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nerve wracking. Nerve wracking. Nerve wracking. What was that? Oh, that was the slider thing. Oh no, how did this go in? This way? Or the other way? Uh, this way. Uh, was it this way? Oh man. Yeah, it's gotta be that way. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Okay, buddy. Okay. Well, that actually, that feels kind of nice. That went together nice. But this thing, how do I get this guy in? Oh, well, I just, just press him in. Did anybody notice if that guy was sticking out a lot? How far in was he? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll look at a picture of one and I'll, I'll look back on the video of this and see how far it was sticking out. Okay, so now we gotta put back the ones that we took out. So I have my diagram. There's also a diagram came with my kit and it shows you which ones to undo. It is unfortunately in German. One. These are also six, two Newton meters, three, four, five, six. Okay. so we don't strip anything or put anything in the wrong way. Put them in by hand. Okay, so believe it or not, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, our rebuild, refresh of our mechatronic unit is, is complete, completed. Now I've got to get under that car, plop that mechatronic unit back up in there with those T40s, and, uh, and um, what uh, what do I have to do? Plug it, plug, put it, put it back, and then um, put the pan back. 
and refill the transmission.